Welcome, welcome, welcome. My name is Honor, and we are back for the last time with some Factorio Vanilla 100% tech. And this is it, guys. This is our last episode. Um, let me zoom out here so you guys can get a full look at the whole base. All right. So, um, we have done some things uh let's take a quick tour uh some updates and then we will um jump right into it uh okay so i i built up some uh some circuits down here uh some red circuits over here some red circuits here uh just because we were having a problem uh, with red circuits so i had to kind of bootstrap that a little bit um we we do have a backlog of blue circuits now which is great we have uh we're working on getting our uh what are they called speed modules so that we can build some rocket control units but as you can see we have a um a rocket ready to be launched um all right so let's get into it let's look at our tech we only have three more things left to research and then we will be done so let's go ahead and start we'll get this worker robot speed uh, done first because it only takes 500 uh, and that should uh, be pretty quick um, while this is all running uh, I am gonna be uh, running around kind of tweaking things making sure they run a little bit better um, I did add in two more um, copper smelting arrays, so for a total of six. Uh, let's get through these um, solar panels and accumulators, and I'll show you those real quick. Uh, here they are. I have six now. Um, I did separate my train stops into two, copper in one and copper in two. Um, I have two trains that go to each, uh, two trains that go to, uh, the copper over here, and then two trains that go to the copper over here. As you can see, one's pulling out now to bring us some copper ore, which is fantastic. Um, we're going to, we're filling in, uh, all of this, well, not all of this area, but most of this area here. Because uh, we were having a problem with power. Well, I shouldn't say having a problem. I tried um, squeezing in one more achievement. And it was the solar achievement. Um, Tech Maniacs, what we're going for. Uh, this, excuse me, Solaris produced more than 10 gigajoules per hour using only solar panels. Uh, I disconnected my turbines my uh, uh water my steam stuff there you go steam that's the word i'm looking for it's off it's early in the morning still and everything went to pot so we hooked it back up and we added a bunch more uh, solar stuff so yeah we're uh <clears throat> excuse me we are doing pretty good so we are getting really close to that coveted tech maniac and I was doing some some research on it, and did you know that only 6.5% of Factorio players uh, get this achievement? I thought it was pretty interesting. I th I'd have thought it would be more than that. But no, only 6.5%. Okay, so let's go. We're going to run around. We're going to make sure that our... Um, uh, whatchamacallits, it's down here, our um, mining drills are picked up if they're not working anything, or working anything, so, alright, just to kind of keep it clean, uh, I think this is full, yeah, that one's still got stuff, 
Uh, all right, so these two are been looked at. Let's go look at the coal down at the bottom. And we're going to talk a little bit about the game we're going to be playing next. Uh, we are going to be playing some end zone. Oh, and that's done. All right. Uh, so let's go ahead and get follow robot robot count six started up. Uh, it's got it needs a thousand. Um, we have looks like we have plenty of yellow science, but we're still we're still working on that purple, which wasn't an issue last time. But anyway, um, end zone. End zone is a post-apocalypse city building survival game. Uh, it's pretty fun. I've played a little bit of it. Um, you basically have to build up a town after an apocalypse, after a radiation. And so far, the only um, enemy in the game is radiation. So, as you can see, we're, we're putting in some... Uh, Uh, some landfill here. Let's go ahead and let's, let's give it some more orders here. I, didn't, I don't know why we didn't we missed this part. All right. So, um, let's see what else. What else are we gonna talk about while we're doing some mindless stuff? I really don't know. Um. So yeah, uh, I think that as soon as this series is over with, here in a little bit, I'm going to update uh, Factorio. So we are on the we have the new all the new graphics and whatnot. Let's clear these out, and I probably won't do another YouTube series for Factorio uh, for a while, um, but. If I do, or I should, and shouldn't say if, when I do, because I will be doing another one, uh, it's going to be a modded series. Uh, how modded? I'm not 100% sure, but it will be uh, modded. Uh, so if you have any ideas on mods that you would like to see, uh, let me know in the comments down below, and I will uh, do my dangus to... Uh, Play with those mods. I have I have a list of mods that I would like to use, um, but you know, it's not all about me. Sometimes it is though. All right, so this one, nope, oh, this one's not cleared out yet. For the most part, this one, this one's still got a ways to go. We're gonna, uh, we'll be that one for a while. Let's run it here to this copper, and then. We will see. You know what? Let me turn. Uh, let me turn the sounds back up. I had the I had the music turned down the other day. Um, there we go. Back resume. Resuming. Uh, why is this here? Why is this one here? Who knows? Who really knows? All right. All right. That one is still being used. We got these two jokers not doing anything. And then... Oops. I took away one too many. There we go. All right, uh, I think that's going to be it for this uh, patch over here as well. I'm taking power poles away very gingerly because I don't want to um, shut power off to this whole node over here. So there we go. Um, okay, that's still doing that. Okay, good. So there we go. Those have been uh, cleaned up, and now obviously we got to run to the other side of the 
uh, base and see what's going on over here. So I'm not going to make you make you guys watch me run all the way back. So I'll go ahead and put in a cut right here and I will be back once I'm on the other side of the base. And we are just we got we're back on one part of the base. Um, I'm going to stop and check this uh, stone. It looks like everything is running the same. So we're not going to worry about this. Uh, next stop is going to be coal and stone, which is, no, maybe it's just coal. I don't know. I don't know what my base has. Um, no, that, that needs to be, you know what, let's go ahead and mark that for deletion. That doesn't need to be there. I don't need artillery pieces in the middle of my base. Um, all right, so yeah, we have more stone. Okay, so let's go ahead and do a quick cleanup on this. Um, I think that looks like it's going to be it. We had, we're not really pulling a lot of stone out of here. Uh, we kind of went overboard on the miners. Oh, our research ended, so let's go ahead and start the last one. And here we go. We're we're uh, about a, th a third of the way through it already. And we've got plenty of science packs to finish it. So this is hopefully going to be it. Um, I'm probably going to make this the same full 30 minutes. Uh, I don't want to cheat you guys out of a video. Um, but it's a possibility it could be shorter. All right. So let's, okay, so this one looks pretty full. We're, we're not really pulling too much out of here. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, okay. Five rows coming in here. All right, so. So yeah, there we go. So there's all of our um, mining areas cleaned up. Let's go ahead and check our power here uh, so yeah we're really not using a lot of well i guess we're kind of using yeah we're using a little bit less um than what we actually yeah the sun's coming up so our uh, solar panels are taking more of the load our steam engines are reducing how much they're taking and at the same time we are charging our accumulators so we dipped down to about what was it five gigajoules of power left in our accumulator so we we've got it pretty much dialed and now now it's the end of the series but i'm hoping that our um solar panels can handle most of the load during the day um i hope i hope that's how i've got it set up i i would expect but you never know all right so let's go look at the bane of this playthrough's existence circuits um i have a f sinking feeling that we are lacking on red circuits um so let's go run back over here we're almost there and check on see we have a rocket ready to go i just need a satellite and uh yeah we'll um we'll get to it here in a little bit and still yeah see our, our red circuits are pretty lacking over here that's okay. We'll figure it out. Um, I think I have cut off all the circuit, red circuits that come down here. Yeah, nothing comes down from there. For those. Now we do have a couple 
split off here for these, uh, for one of these anyway. For just my, it looks like it comes down here, it goes along, okay, just for these um, assembly machines. I've got one, let's go ahead and drop it off in here. There you go. All right. Let's go look and see if there's anything that I can do while this last science pack is finishing up. There probably isn't. Um, my green circuits are pretty maxed out. Uh, well, I, I, I should say they were. Um, but they're getting... They're getting pretty deep in the uh, array here. So, uh, let's jump over here. Let's go look and see. See, everything is pushing just fine. We've got a full four belts. Coming through here. Um, interesting. You would expect a full belt to be pushed up in here, but we're we're getting there. Um, uh, let's see here. Is there anything? What's this? Some coal. Uh, there's maybe one or two that need to be uh, removed, but we're not going to worry about it right now. Um, Crazy ass dog is raring to go this morning. So, all right. Um, oh, we also added a bit more um, plastic bar makers here because we were we're still we're still lacking here. Um, we've got petroleum. Oh no, we don't. We're we're really low on petroleum. Uh, yes. Um, shoot. Uh, what are we? These guys are these guys going full tilt? Yeah, everybody's. Well, except these the um. Uh, <clears throat> everyone except the uh, lubrication makers. I don't know how I can bootstrap that steel. I don't really have a good spot to put more um, of these because since they're so wide with using the electric furnaces. Um, so while we're doing this, let's also go over some lessons learned. Um, we need more resources, uh, more copper, more iron, well, no, iron really hasn't ever been an issue. Cop more copper, more steel. Um, a one belt of steel is not enough. So we need to remember to increase that. Uh, copper, we need to make sure that we have well, way more than enough. Uh, let's see here. <clears throat> Circuits. I think having... Um, two arrays of green circuits and two arrays of red circuits, um, each filling up a belt should be good. Um, I don't know what I was thinking when I only did the one. I mean, there's a lot of red circuits here. Uh, if you go over to the Factorio calculator, uh, kirkmcdonald.github.io, um, which I will actually link in the description below finally now that I'm gonna re hopefully will remember this time um, It takes a hundred and ten of these factories right here of the blue factories to make a full belt of Red circuits now and that according to this calculator is 11 belts of copper plates that is in well that's also including um 
this side over here. But it's 19, um, 19 factories making green circuits. 18.4, but let's go ahead and just round it up to 19, which is a lot. Um, 3.7 belts of plastic bars, which again is a lot. So yeah, we'll, um, we've got a lot of, um, learning to do so we can do things a little bit better. Uh, I think having two belts of each will go a long way. Also, Uh, so yeah, we've got, and then also, uh, things like, um, this, the sulfur does not need to be on the bus. It can be made at the location where it's needed. Um, explosives, again, batteries, same thing. Engines probably can be made at this, at that location, um, so I can really just concentrate on making sure that my bus has just the essentials. Uh, plastic bars can probably go on a bus, I would think, since they're used quite often. Um, they're used in blue circuits. They're used in uh, tank rounds. And I believe artillery rounds as well. So, again, there's quite a few applications for them, so they could possibly go on the bus maybe not in a full belt maybe a half a belt but again that's one of those subject for debate things so yeah a lot of uh, lessons learned and see yeah see, I'm, all I'm doing is using it for uh, my tank round production which is bananas I don't need this many tank rounds I'm not going to be using my tank that much um, but I did kind of bootstrap it to make artillery rounds. So it's needed, but not at this level. Um, so yeah, it's, you know, just lots of little, lots of little different things that we can do better next time. And we will do better next time. So looks like we got about five more minutes before this thing, uh, kicks off uh, let's double check all of these science or researches with the uh, infinity we do not need to get those to research um, or to get the tech maniac uh, achievement so this is the last one and then we will be kaput let's go check oh, okay we are here at our science okay um, what is missing? Ooh, we're missing one. Hmm. Which one is it? It is our green science. What? Green science. Why is our green science lacking? What are we missing here? We need... Um... Inserters. Let's go ahead and bump that up to yellow. Um, you know what? Let's just do this. Let's go ahead and drop off all of these inserters, yellow inserters that I have in my pocket, since I'm obviously not going to need them. And let's get some green science packs on the way. Can I make any more? I can't make it. That's fine. Uh, yeah, there. Let's go ahead and increase these to yellow so they will go they will work faster 
Uh, do I have any... I do not have any um, speed modules or production modules or anything like that. So that's a, a no-go on that. All right, so it looks like we've we've increased it a good bit. That's awesome. Who would have thought that at the end of the day we would need green more green science? Certainly not me. So, um, it's coming along. I mean, it's using up green circuits, iron plates, and iron gears just like it's supposed to. Uh, matter of fact, let's go ahead and we'll hand make some real quick. Not that this is, there we go. And then we'll just straight insert that in there. And there they are, there's 20. That thing's moving, oh look at that, that thing's moving now. Yes, sir. All right. Now it's putting out uh, inserters like it's supposed to. And there's the last, well, almost the last set. Okay. So green science packs are on the way. And then we will be done. Make sure they're getting all the way down here. They're, they're really not, but that's okay. We'll let it uh, build up. Um, maybe also add a buffer instead of using the belt as a buffer for our science packs. I don't know. We'll uh, we'll look into some options for that, and see what we come up with. Everything going to plan over here. It's it's moving a little slower, but that's okay. Uh, you know what? Let's go ahead and increase production there. Uh, let's put in those there. All right. Just, I can't believe that we're waiting at the last minute on green science. Of all things that we should be waiting on. All right, so while this uh, series finishes up, uh, the video and the series finishes up. Um, let me go ahead and take this opportunity to say thank you for coming by and watching me bumble my way through this. Uh, it's been a learning experience for me, um, not only making YouTube videos, but playing the game. And uh, yeah, so I hope to improve going forward. Obviously, you always want to improve on stuff. And, and Tech Maniac, research all technologies. We have completed our game. So, thank you guys so, so much for coming by and hanging out with me. I do appreciate it. As always.